a total exploration of a record nine and one half hours. 33 and a half hours after they landed, Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell lifted off in the silent vacuum of the moon. Captain, engine is armed. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. This should be out ignition. What a liftoff. And liftoff. Roger, ignition. Boom. Over. Pitch over. Ten seconds. Roger. Hey, baby. Pitch over is good. Very looking good, Houston. Roger, you're looking good from down here, Al. I'll be up on one minute. Half an hour later, Stuart Russo watched their progress from Kitty Hawk. What are you doing way down there, old fearless one? You've lost a little weight since the last time I saw you. Well, you can the station's keeping at about 100 feet, closing in a little more for the pictures of the service module and command module. Okay, I uh, shall do a loop later. Okay, make it smooth. And around we go. Show us a little style. Oh, you look good. There I was at 240,000 coming over the top. That's our home away from home. Would you believe 360,000? Yeah. Kitty Hawk is doing an extremely smooth loop. We're sitting at uh, 70 feet, watching him go around. He looks very clean. The inspection complete. Antares and Kitty Hawk move together for docking. Apollo 14, this is Houston. Your go for the docking. Roger, we got you. They transferred the gear from Antares to Kitty Hawk, buttoned up the tunnel, then jettisoned the lunar module. It would crash into the moon at a predetermined spot. Its impact picked up by their seismometer and the seismometer left by Apollo 12 over a year earlier. 149 hours after they left Earth, they performed the burn that broke them out of lunar orbit. During the coast to Earth, there would be time to catch up on sleep, relax, and do all the little things left undone. 